What is up guys and girls? So in this video I'm going to be taking you through the basement level of Nightmare. Now this can be different for every one of different runs, it just depends on what you need to purchase and what weapons you prefer to use. So this is going to be my initial, well it's actually my second run of this and I have since formulated other strategies so I'll be doing another video probably today or later tomorrow um, on different strategies that you could also implement to get this. So for starters I bought the adrenaline, the shotgun, shotgun upgrade and a couple of shells as well as the P19 machine gun. Now what I would do differently is spend my initial money on the shotgun and the shotgun shells, saving the machine gun and the machine gun upgrade for the later bosses. So if you start buying it early, it gets more and more expensive. So choose one weapon at the start and then another weapon later on. Now I have been uh, commented overnight about someone who's done this knife only and has worked out pretty well and I'll put this to the test today as well. So. If you survive the night, you're going to be grabbing the Dead by Dawn trophy. So let's get into it. At the start, all you want to do is activate your two um, compactors and then wait for the enemies to come. Now I like to wait in this area over here or by the turret facing back this way. This way it gives you a line of sight down three passages and three corridors. And also I recommend or strongly recommend using headphones. This way you can tell where the enemies are spawning. Sometimes they'll spawn behind you now in the room and with the headphones on you can tell straight away. Sure. Also in my more recent playthroughs I have started not purchasing the final corrosive and just using the three compactors, the one directly ahead of you in that room, the one to your left that you've activated already and the one in the starting room and then upgrading the compactors to the maximum level and it seems to pump out more than enough um, scrap metal for you to finish the level as well as have a nice score for leftover scrap metal afterwards. So my second visit to the bench I bought machine gun ammo and then my next one would be the machine upgrade and then two health upgrades. I normally only ever use the shotgun for emergencies kind of like that situation because once the machine gun's upgraded, you can headshot them fairly easily and they peg pretty quickly. Because they use their arm to block their head and then <clears throat> the arm will be dead in two shots with the, with the upgrade. I also strongly recommend using your machine gun on the liquors. They're very agile molded because well, one shot of the shotgun will slow them down. If you don't kill them, they can attack you in the time it takes you to reload. So I'll be showing you some of that in a second. So as you can see, when you stand by that compactor, uh, they can spawn to your left. So just be vigilant and keep those headphones nice and loud. And the tripwire over here, and the tripwire is running down the passages, I, I normally use that for the first jack. And then the second one, I use on the second part of the stage, which I will show as well. And the barrels I like to use for groups of molded and probably the, the bloater guys. So they're grabbing some more shells and uh, machine gun ammo. And the upgrade for the machine gun, definitely. Like I said, you formulate more strategies, and right now I would upgrade the machine gun completely before up upgrading the shotgun even once but also not buying too much ammo using it only when they're at a distance and using the shotgun at the start so the ammo doesn't become too expensive see there three shots into the face and he's down now obviously it's not as easy to do that all the time at a distance but you start becoming more and more accurate with the with the shotgun, well with the machine gun at least, and it can be lethal. That is one of the spawn locations I, I spoke about earlier. And also it helps a large amount if you play the game just play it a couple of times even if you die you you accumulate score and that score will unlock uh, bonuses for the start of the next round or unlock items that you can buy and it'll cost you 
well, it'll cost 10 million points to get to the final one, which is infinite ammo, which seems quite pointless because if you use the infinite ammo bonus or the circular saw bonus at the end, your score gets multiplied by 0 0.01. So on a score of 40,000, it will be down to 400. So unless you just like having fun and messing around and not going for score, sure. But it seems pretty pointless to me that they would give you those and then make the score absolutely nothing. So it's, you might as well just play the main game. There is no difference. Okay, so here we have Jack. Now what I would do differently now is go down the passage um, to the left as, as you come out of the door of the first compactor room or go left right over here and wait for Jack by the first trip mine. And the second you see him, just activate it. It'll only cost you 100 scrap. And then run to the next tripwire, activate it, and then run to the next one, and so on. But he is a much faster walker than you, and he will catch you, turn you around, and sometimes knee you in the face. But if you've got the adrenaline, it will auto-revive you. But the, the health kits, the health meds are very cheap anyway. So I like to stand here for the first part of these liquors, and there is one that spawns on the right, which I learned right there. But I like to keep my distance from these guys because they can be taken down from a distance with a couple of shots to the head. And don't stress when your compactors stop now. It just pretty much gives you the time to walk around and gather all your scrap. And if you're not fighting a liquor, like wasting your shots like that, then I would use this time to avoid the molded go around to all the compactors and collect all your scrap before killing the last enemy and initiating the next hour. Okay, so four hours to dawn, I grab the corrosive, which again I would do differently on the next run. I will do an updated run, like I said. But I bought the corrosive and what else did I get? Grenade launcher, flame rounds, machine gun ammo, and shotgun shells. Now the flame, again, I probably wouldn't buy, but the grenade launcher is only 50 scrap for the start, and you get one ammo with that. And buying one more set of ammo is not a bad idea if you want to use it for Jack. But for Jack, I mainly use the trip wires and the barrels, but I do shoot him a couple of times in the face with this upgraded gun. So there we go, open that door, grab your compactor, and now again at this stage I would do something differently. I would save all my scrap if I have enough ammo and go for the compactor upgrade. And at this point not get any more corrosive and not unlock the third section. Keep it together. Use but you can play around with it and test it out and see what works best for you and which weapons work best for you. So as you can see, there's a good line of sight at this position. And also, if shit starts hitting the fan, then you can use the trap. I'm not quite sure why I used it there. I think I was expecting the agile liquors, but it might be a bit too soon to use it. And I'm not sure if the turrets work on time-based or if they go for, for ammo. So I'm not sure if you help shooting the, the enemies with the turret makes it last longer, or if it's just after a matter of time it shuts down. I think the only way to do that is to time it and I will do that on the next play. Okay, so now you get the, the other molded with the, the large claw. Emergency shotgun comes out. Okay, 61 and 13 is a good amount of ammo to have at this point. And as you can see, the machine gun can be lethal at incredible distances. See now I have activated that drum over there, anticipating the, the bloated guys. It just owns them, I love it. And I do want to upgrade or get enough points in the game to upgrade to the MPM handgun and that's to me the most powerful and the best handgun in the game just because of its clip size and its ability to take out enemies quicker than any other handgun, Magnum excluded.
Okay, so what do I get this time? I get the machine gun ammo, grenade launcher, and some shells, I think. I went through this and wrote it all down before doing the commentary. So yeah, as you can see, the upgrade for that was expensive. But now I'm sitting pretty with ammunition. And here comes Jack. See, now normally I would turn a left there. I would not come into this room. Um, you'll be trapped. You should just leave the scrap for this fight. So now, as you try and run away, a lot of the time he'll just grab you. But I do turn around here. At this point, you have to move your left stick, otherwise you won't get up. So head to the first tripwire, and it'll only cost you 100 scrap, so not bad. Now don't run away, wait for him to get hit by it, and then he's on the ground. You can shoot him at least twice. Run to the next tripwire, and wait for him again. See there, I didn't do it quick enough, or I didn't do it at all. At this point, I'd run straight ahead and activate that trap. But using it the second time now, it's going to cost more. And again, you've got the first aids, you've got the adrenaline possibly, and the adrenaline will get unlocked after a certain amount of playtime. See, now I've got the barrel set up there. I think I'll just use it. I'm not sure. No, he's too quick. Now, if you haven't unlocked the downstairs section, don't turn right. You'll get trapped in that place and you won't be able to get past him. Certain attacks of his, his left to right swing, you can duck. Okay, he's down. When is this gonna be over? Okay, three hours to dawn. So now I would be focusing on the upgrading of my compactors, which I probably would have done in the previous hour. Okay, so I do the compactor upgrade now, I think. Well, I should. I do have one adrenaline, which is always good. Two maids is fine. Compactor upgrade, definitely. Okay, that was terrible. Normally they die a lot quicker if you actually hit them. I'd be very wary of this room at this point in the game. I think now for security I would activate the barrel to my right and if you get a whole lot of molded following you then run into this room and you can own them all with a single barrel because they do like to bunch up but you can see it doesn't take much to take them down with this uh, upgraded machine gun I haven't yet attempted the the night terror on this mode. I just wanted to familiarize myself with everything, really, and the mechanics of the game. And I want to up, uh, upgrade, well, unlock the uh, remote bombs because those things owned in the original game, and I'm fairly certain they'll own here. So before attempting anything more drastic than this, I'm going to be playing this a couple of times to get the score required to unlock it. Okay, let's go purchase some stuff. Now, as you can see, the uh, 
compactors are a little bit more lucrative and they will top out at 1500 scrap so don't leave them for too long some more machine gun ammo do I do a heal upgrade or health upgrade? Health upgrade and a heal upgrade. All right, what have we got? And you can also unlock the M21 shotgun, which is obviously gonna make everything way easier. So I am pretty psyched to be playing this a little bit more and increasing your score. And what I mean by score is that you'll, you'll have a total score for every game you've played, every attempt you've had, and that accumulative score will unlock bonuses in this game in this game mode at least. So this probably would have been a good time to use the barrel there. As you can see I went a bit mad. I was trying to see if there was a, an agile guy to my right. There was not. So now I do have the uh, grenade launcher which I bought earlier and if you run out of trip mines or the turrets become more too expensive then I would use the flamer on the bloated guys. So again, when that, whenever this happens just say to yourself, okay, let's clear out all my scrap and avoid the molded if I can. See now, what I wanted to do was kill him before he got to that trip mine, so that didn't work out. I didn't want the, the molded to activate that trip wire. I wanted the fatty in the background to do it. And again, coming into this room, probably not a good idea. Well, don't stay in that room for too long. Don't stay in any room when you have the big guys following you that uh, has no exit strategy because if you get stuck in there they'll just walk up against you and you fucked so stick to the pathways and yeah that's the one that didn't blow up the first time and with these guys if you run too far away from them they will spawn in a different location but they do spawn with the same health as when they melted so no matter how much you shoot them if they spawn and fade away they will respawn with the same amount of health that you've taken off already. So that's quite useful because they do it fairly often. So I bet that hurt. And he's down. I'm not sure if this is the one that has two or if it's just a single. Oh, it was the single. Okay, I want to go home. Okay, two hours to dawn. Two hours to go so now I get more corrosive and I unlock the third section which may be not necessary but it requires more more attempts and I'll be doing that today so I will let you know but I think at this one I will purchase more shells machine gun ammo health upgrade machine gun ammo as well and flame ammo at the end now those are all four or five different visits so for starters just the corrosive and the shells making sure everything's loaded up see there I would probably get some more machine gun ammo I've only got 40 which is good for about four or seven molded maybe depending on your luck and the location they spawn now that room to the right over there is only accessible if you unlock the corrosive through this door to the right which is where I'm going now And one of the reasons I would maybe unlock this now, thinking about it, is you've got a barrel there, a tripwire here, and then there's a little passageway to your left as you go through this door that goes down some stairs, and there's two more tripwires there, which is perfect for Jack. And of course, your, your third compactor. Now what I try and do is activate this turret, and I wish I had, because things would have gone a lot better with that... As you can see, it goes tits up now, and if I'd activated that turret, I wouldn't be in this situation, especially with that liquor. But don't stress, if you play this game a couple of times, you'll have an adrenaline, and if you die, you'll be auto-revived. If not, just use your healing as soon as you get up. But over here, it's always good to have some distance between you and the bad guys, so here he comes. See there, missed the shotgun shot, and he almost jumped me straight away.
shooting him in the shoulder does not work. That would have been a good time to use the barrel, thinking about it, but it's always easier to say all this crap when you're watching it afterwards and not in the midst. There we go. Not sure if I should have done it then, but I should have done that beforehand. So I'm going to go for more machine gun ammo and shotgun shells. Don't quite know how he got to me there with two shots to the head and, and the turret. But it's not our job to question shit like that, it just happens. Like now I'm going to go check on my other compactors and see if I can upgrade something. You don't get too much damage from that barrel, no matter how close you are to it, so if they all follow you in that direction, then just use it, blow it up, and it costs you a hundred scrap. There we go, a nice amount there. What do we do? Health upgrade, machine gun ammo, and two shells, which is six shells, I think, or is it eight? Okay, now we're nicely stocked. Probably should have got a health upgrade there, but it didn't matter in the long run. Now you want to get out of this room as soon as you can. Fucking liquors. They're so quick. And they kind of know your moves, and they will jump out of the way of your shots so quickly, which is why I like using the machine gun against them. Okay, defeat all enemies, which means go collect all your scrap. You see, if you get caught in here, they can trap you so quickly that the machine gun owns and owned them. <laughs> See, he dodged me straight away, jumped in the air like a fucking kangaroo and just dodged me. So now there are some guys behind me, because I got hit by one of them, but we're just going to focus on collecting the scrap unless you've got one of these guys following you or two of them for that matter which then becomes your priority okay that takes care of those two now what I should have done when I went to unlock the other section and activated my third compactor or fourth compactor is you need to unlock the door which is just past it this will give you access from that room where I just was straight to the other side. It gives you the ability to run away and get monsters to follow you. So you've got a biggie in there and a biggie over here, which is not a good place to be in between these two guys. So I thought exploding the barrel would irritate him enough for me to get past, but I got lucky. Just enough space for me to run past him here. So these two will be the final guys for the for this hour, and then we'll have the final hour, and then Jack at the end of that. So I get some more flame there, and I've got plenty of that, so probably should have been using that already. And I shouldn't have done that either. <laughs> Just get the fuck out of that room as soon as you can. Yeah, you see, now I've done it. Although they are bunched up, and flame rounds are a good idea right now. But this is not a position you want to be in. But if you reload quick enough, 
spam your reload button as you fire, then you can interrupt them. Sometimes it's a good idea to fire the, the weapon in between them on the ground. Toodles, motherfuckers. Okay. Going on to the final hour. Keep it Keeping it together. So if you get to this point, and you've got yourself some ammo, you've got some weapons, then focus more on the skills. So upgrade your machine gun or whatever weapon you're using to the max or mam, and do the health upgrades, maybe heal upgrade, but uh, speed would probably help you stay away from Jack if you're sitting around with extra, extra scrap, now that I think about it. And again, make sure you have an adrenaline if you've unlocked that on your previous plays with enough score because that is the second life, pretty much. And if you have three of those, then, you know, you, you can't die. <laughs> they auto-revive you each time, so it makes it way easier. But I'm pretty certain that they increase in uh, cost, as everything else does. Okay, so on this, we can expect the two different types of molders, the standards, at least, the, the hook arms and the normal, and also the agile liquors. I'm not too sure about bloated on this one. Fuck, I've got to learn the names of these enemies. But, um, yeah, collect your scrap. And this is where you can unlock the other door, which I might do now. So directly ahead of me, or behind me now, there is a door. And this will give you access to the second compactor that you unlocked. Liquors. Perfect time to get them at a distance like that, because they have to be close enough to spring at you. But this gun obviously can shoot further. The door is directly down there. I guess I just didn't want to unlock it, but it does make it a lot better because you can get from here to your other compactor in a fraction of the time. So the tarot I did actually comes into play for once. And stuck in this room. Run away is probably your best tactic. So I was lucky enough that the, the liquor jumped and I got them both. Otherwise he would have hit me again. Yep, there's still another one there. And there are no doors you can close in this. See, so if you get those liquors from a distance like that, you can own them with the gun. But it's easier said. 52 shots. Probably think about getting some more ammo. See, I sh if I'd unlocked that door, I could have got to this point in no time. But I'm definitely going to be uploading an updated strategy video after playing it a bit more. Okay, we're almost there. Or well, we are there. Jack is the final boss, so once you've got rid of this, these molded, then it'll be you and him. And just run from trip mine to trip mine. And this is obviously the way I did it, but there are plenty of other ways you can do it. I mean, I've got enough flame ammo to probably take him out. And I should have done the upgrade right there if I could afford it. There's no point in keeping any scrap right now, unless you're going for the best score you can, because you will get a multiplier on the scrap that you have left over. So it's very effective shooting the ground. And take note, he can kill you in one hit if he does his, uh, I'm going to say the scissor one, when he walks up to you and chops your head off. So I'd say in this one, keep your distance, which is easier said than done again because he is very quick. And if he grabs you, there's a chance he might do it. So. I would probably recommend quick turning and running away, but it does take him a little while to build up to that attack. So don't stress if he does grab you, you can still run away from it. OK, 
Okay, so just lead him to trap to trap. And I'm actually not sure why I didn't use the flame rounds. And there we go. I unlocked the fucking door in the end. Which probably doesn't help me at all now. So the barrels and the trip mines are good just to get him uh, staggered. So you can actually shoot him in the face with the shotgun. So that's the swinging attack. He won't kill you with one hit of that. He will, he will push the scissors forward at you when he's doing that scissor one. That'll cut your head off. I was gutted. I didn't know he could do that until he did it. But we learn. Get him to the turret. Now I'm going to take him down these stairs behind me and activate the trip wires. I actually missed the first one. Do you get the second one? But now there's no holes barred, so I should have activated the tower to my right, since once you kill him, it's all done. Off we go again. Another barrel over here, and there's also a, a trap on the ground. See, that one you can duck if you're quick enough. And I think I kill him now. Okay, so that one I activated. Now I should have turned around straight away. And oh, it was the fucking molded which got that one. There he is. Now he actually gives you shit for being an old man and not being able to take him on. What he fails to mention is that he has regenerative capabilities that rival Wolverine, so you should throw that in there. It's strange, it doesn't look like it has any effect when he's walking towards you. It's quite irritating. You think he would stagger a little bit. Lucky to get the molded on my right there, didn't even see him. <laughs> Ignore my girlfriend in her cold. Haha, <laughs> I only realized that joke now. Squash you like a bug, and I hope Marguerite didn't hear that because she's full of those fucking bugs. Okay, and he's down. So that's that. That's going to bring us to the end, and your Dead by Dawn question mark trophy. So now you'll get a multiplier for the leftover scrap that you have in the machines. And there's your lovely, crappy bronze fucking trophy. Now it'll give you some stats and tell you how far you are away from unlocking other shit. And I'll be trying to better that score as well in uh, the next runs and there it'll tell you what is available. Now again if you use these weapons your score will be multiplied by 0 0.01 which is which means pretty much you won't get any score for using the circular score or infinite ammo when you get to it. But I'm going to leave you with some end screens and I hope you found the video informative. Please ask any questions you might have. I'm always going to answer. And remember to like if you like and subscribe if you really liked. And I'll see you next time.